Hey, Farmer Courtney here. On the way into town today, I was thinking about this old ebook that I wrote, Guard Your Productivity, right? So it was on my mind because I got a message from a sister who is struggling with her family's fevers, right? They're just in the thick of it, going through the hell of not quite having the right natural tools in your home health arsenal to, you know, just get it within 24 to 48 hours, you know, to come into balance. And that's really difficult when you have multiple children. And it gave me pause, especially because she's been somebody that is so um, angelically assigned to me to be of assistance. And so I wrote this whole fever class. I'm going to be teaching it in Here After Farms tonight because I was just really overcome. I don't usually wake up at night. I just woke up at three o'clock in the morning, saw her message and time zones being what they are, wasn't able to be that helpful, but it just put me back on purpose. I've been kind of going through it. I have a lot of different things that come through and trying to figure out where to focus. And so tonight's class is going to be really excellent in here after farms. And then I'm going to record it again and make it available for people. So it's basically fever tools, right? Natural remedies. So homeopathy is mainly what I teach. There's um, an electrolyte <laughs> that you can tap into, some vitamins and some different herbal remedies. So I'm going to be covering that tonight. That's um, from 6 to about 7.30 in the Hereafter Farms Academy. And then I'm going to re-record it so I can get it to her. And then, I, you know, I'll make it available if anybody else wants it. There's a page of notes with links, everything really easy. And the reason why I teach homeopathy is because when I would pray, you know, what am I supposed to do and how can I be reciprocating this type of energy? I got really strongly that you should return homeopathy to my people. And I thought, oh, I'm not qualified. You know, I made all these excuses and truly I'm not qualified as a homeopath yet <laughs> to take clients, but that's not what the instructions were it was return it so plant the seeds however people choose to uh you know cultivate it once you you bring it to their attention that's open-ended you know creativity is limitless it could go any way but just do that and so i'm assessing how i really haven't been doing that because i um, I went through my own walk with like a pretty serious acute illness that I haven't had for 20 years. But in that acute illness, homeopathy saved my life because nobody was coming to save me. I don't really have a tight network of people and the small amount of people that I have in my, you know, physical reality they were all out of town or out to lunch mentally or ill themselves. And so just nobody was able to be helpful to me. And it was during the time of traditional Easter. And so, yeah, I had this really intense time along the timeline of the crucifixion and then the resurrection timeline. And we really just miraculously, I was the one that was the, <laughs> the most run down and the most susceptible to really getting very sick. And then I, I didn't have any food prepared. <laughs> so I didn't have anybody, you know, feeding me. So I went through this pretty intense, uh, you know, minimal. I wasn't completely fasting. But yeah, it was a lot of fasting and minimal amount of foods. Which isn't necessarily ideal for what I was I was going through because the body does need some fuel. Anyway, lived through it, got through it, and developed this much deeper appreciation for homeopathy. And it set me on a path that I actually should go to homeopathy school. So I've been interviewing and working on my application, and that's something that I'm going to do. And so I'm really looking forward to teaching this class tonight. And just walking in obedience, you know, so um, I had heard different things in reference to, um, you know, natural remedies and, and things like that, but never had I heard anything like homeopathy. So when I finally stopped passing it by and decided to study it, I realized how it could have been a game changer. So that's why I like to share about homeopathy because not all natural remedies and things are created equal. So like what sounds good on Pinterest when you're just scrolling and nobody's in the throes of dealing with some kind of acute illness, doesn't always work effectively when you're kind of grasping at things and figuring out what do I do? What do I do? Just like nobody would expect you to be good at martial arts if you didn't train, you wouldn't be finishing 
you know, like a, a 5K or a marathon, if you didn't train, if you didn't, you know, learn how to read, you wouldn't be able to like write and expound on things, training and the discipline of, you know, learning a new skill is, is really, there's no way around it with homeopathy. But what's great about it is that it unites people. It unites people who have a common goal to just get out from under this wicked medical system that seeks to profit off of us while it's poisoning us. Not that there aren't some good doctors out there in the system doing the best that they can. Not that trauma care isn't amazing, but wouldn't it be much better for all of us if we were in good health and we could handle the minor so that the lanes were open for the major and you know people were really able to be more successful so anyway that was just what was on my mind I just really give thanks for um, you know the way that Allah has brought so many people into my life and so many things so um, this sister was was just so crucial at a at a really important time and always just so gracious and um, excellent leadership inspiration just the um, right amount you know of of pressure and and guidance and just inspiring you to want to keep up so I pray that you know this class is um, all that it can be and more <laughs> so this is post 28 just 67 posts of appreciation for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and all of the time and energy that he has put into his years of service 67 years of service within the Nation of Islam and it's just a way for me to give thanks in a consistent way and do something that is challenging for me and difficult. You know, I was trying to think of how do I express my gratitude and my love for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and this prompting came through, you know, you don't even do things consistently for 67 days. So why don't you start there? That's what I'm doing. So if you like this video, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Appreciate it if you'd share it with other people, if it's of use or value in any way to you. And until next time, peace.